hey, hey, guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And in the last episode, we visited Bacayo Lake to do some, some ice fishing. And I thought we would go ahead and check out Moraine Lake. That's the third lake that has the ability to do ice fishing out of three different lakes. And this is one I haven't checked out, honestly. Not, I have not done any ice fishing here. I have done ice fishing at the other two, but this one, all new. But it's, it seems to be loaded with all kinds of different types of trout. Look at this. Golden trout, tiger trout, brook trout, brown trout, bull trout, cutthroat trout, rainbow trout. And of course we've got walleye. That'll be interesting. Sauger and yellow perch and pike. So there's quite a few species here. And it looks like the lure fishing for this should be very good. If I'm ho at least I'm hoping it will be. We're going to give it a try anyhow. So let's go ahead and play. All right, guys, we are here. Ooh, very picturesque, I must say. Very picturesque. But apparently, we're quite high on the elevation here. Now, I really have no idea what we're going to be fishing for, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the hunter's view and see what I can see under the lake ice. Looks like we got some stuff over here that might be of interest. Alright, I have got to find a decent place to drill here. Let's see, R for starting the drill. Yeah, you actually use the mouse to drill almost physically. I wish you could put rod pods here. I really do, but let me see what I can do as far as inventory wise because apparently I've only got one lure here that I'm able to use. Let's see, hooks, rods. Okay, I guess I'm limited to what I can use for lures maybe? I don't know. No, not really. Got a bunch of lures here that I could use, but let's see. I'm thinking spinners and spoons would be our best bet. Let's try something. Yeah, see, this is what we want right here. Well, let's go with this for now. I don't know how big these guys get. We've already got some of this and this. That's a little small too. But we'll equip that and we'll give it a try. Like I said, I've never attempted this lake. And actually, I've not used lures in this before either. Let's see how that works. Alright. I would imagine we just bob it up and down just like we... Ooh, it does work. Awesome. Yeah, you gotta use that space bar. It didn't take but a minute. And spinners is the way to go, at least seems to. We might try a spoon here in a little bit, but let's catch a few of these guys because this is gonna be fun. This is going to be fun. All new experience. Yeah, they look so different under the water when you're reeling them in, too. Okay, nice sunny day. They got a nice shine on their back. There we go. That's a brown trout. It's no personal best or anything, but it's a nice little fish. Well, let me release him, because I need the XP more than anything else. Yeah, I don't know... If, well, I guess that answers that question. 
I was going to say, I don't know if we're supposed to bring it up and down and up and down like I did before, or if you could just kind of move the rod, but apparently all you have to do is move the rod. Now this is a golden trout. See that red band across him? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I think ice fishing for trout at Marine Lake is going to be kind of fun. Now we've done plenty of pike and we've done all kinds of other species, but not as much of the trout. And this definitely introduces some species we haven't seen too much of, at least in this game. And that is a really pretty, pretty trout. I love the coloration. I kind of wish you could lay it out in front of you, but it's the biggest one I've caught so far, since it's probably the only one I've caught so far. Didn't get a little... You don't get a lot of XP for it, but... I'm going to go ahead and release it because I'm so close to the next level. I'll tell you what, let's try this this time. Let's lower this in. And let's just do it like we do in Ice Lakes. Let's see what happens. Make sure I take that all the way down. Really looks like Ice Lakes, doesn't it? There we go. It works. Just like in Ice Lakes. Now this time I'm just going to reel it in and let's be surprised here by what we get. That's not huge. But he's on the way. He's 40 feet out. Another brown trout. He's quite a bit bigger than the last one. He's 11.77 pounds. A lot more cash, a lot more XP. Pretty fish. Fly and be free. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop fishing for a moment. And I think I might take a look around here a little bit. With f well, no, no, no. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's change our lure. I want to change to a spoon this time. I want to see if spoons do anything at all. Let's see. We've got... Now these are for different types, but it doesn't say anything about it. Let's just try a regular one. Bull trout. Bull trout, book trout, rainbow trout. Well, that's probably going to work, but that's a little on the small side. Let's try a little bit bigger. There we go. Now that one goes to 4 aught. We'll equip it. Let's keep it at a 2 aught. I think that's a good size to start with. Alright, let's go ahead and. Yeah, if you want to get back down, you just hit E. This time I want to be able to view these guys better. I just want to see if just wiggling a spoon in the midair will be enough to attract their attention or if I'm... Yep. <laughs> There's another golden trout. Oh, this is awesome. This is really awesome. This is fun. This is better than the kale, honestly. The kale, the kale. Give me the right pronunciation, I know somebody will. 
Is it Bacale or Bacile? Oh, that is great. That's awesome. There he is. Not a huge fellow, but these are awesome, awesome little fish. He's so little XP, I'm just gonna take the cash. Not very, very, not very big at all. Not very, very. Okay, we're gonna drop this in and do it ice lake style. Probably gonna take that tension down. I don't wanna get surprised. Hmm. Seems a little quiet now. Aha! There's somebody. Boom! Okay, that's... I don't think that's a brown trout. Let me see. What is that? It might be a brown trout. Kind of hard to tell underwater. Uh, he's almost to the surface here. Let's see what he is. It's a tiger trout. Okay, that's new. I thought he was something different. I kept thinking he might be a brown trout, but he didn't quite look right. That's because he wasn't a brown trout. Uh, we'll sell him, I guess. Alright guys, I think what I might do is try a different location just to mix things up a bit. Let me see. Let me check our map here. Now, where am I exactly? Am I over at 1? Let me see. That looks as... Yeah, that's where I'm at. So they do start you at 1. Well, let's go all the way over here to 7. Completely different well, I'm getting a little bit of lag there. Completely different part of the lake. Other uh, end of it, anyway. Let's check the hunter mate. Okay, I see a bunch of fish over there. So let's head over to this spot here. I think they're right under here. So let's start drilling. Alright, I'm going to start with this one. I have no idea what's down here, or even if they're going to go for this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, that is a yeah. I almost I caught myself there. I'm trying not to do that in these games as much as I can, but he kind of surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, he is not anything I've caught before. Pretty sure he isn't real big. But he is a trout of some kind. Bull trout. Nice. Sixty-eight dollars or release for sixteen XP. Uh, well, we'll release him. We need the XP. a big one down there. Yeah, you can do this lots of ways. The 
since it's doing so well the lure fishing, I think I'm going to continue in this episode to do different lures and maybe attempt float fishing, well, live bait fishing in the next episode. Come on, there he comes. Boom! Yeah. It's another bull trout. I think I understand why they call them bull trout. They ain't just they're on it. Okay, I think he's bigger than the last one. By far. There might have been bull trout in Betty Lake, but I don't think they came quite this big. Because it didn't say I had a new record with that one, so it didn't. wasn't the first one I've got. Yeah, see, there's it's no new record. He's 9.88 pounds. We'll release him too. Okay, let me see here. Let's. I only saw a few fish out down there, honestly. So let's take a look, see around again. It kind of looks like more of the same. Well, we can always move to a different portion of the map. That's not a big deal. So let's go back to the map. See right, right here. This may be a little close. Let's go to five. All right, further down on the lake. Let's get out on the lake. This lake's pretty big. Damn. Now let's try the hunter vision. Okay, there's a school of something over there, and some over there, and there's some right below me. They don't none of them really look big though. Let's try four. Let's see if I can get something kind of big. Some of those trout come pretty darn large. He's fairly big, whatever he is. There's some over here, too. I just noticed that. And one good thing about being on a further level here is I can get the hunter vision to come up a little sooner. It used to take quite a while, but... Yeah, there we go. Lots of stuff going on here. I don't know what all this is. But there's some... See if we can't get something different here. All right. All right. Let's. Do you think the spoon or the spinner? Well, let's try the spoon first. fish couldn't get to it. There we go. Well, that's a decent golden. So that's what's down here. Golden trout. Yeah, he's not too big, guys. He did take it out about 70, 76 feet. But yeah, that's all I'm seeing here is goldens. Oh, 
Okay, now he is a new record at 5.58 pounds. We'll sell him. Well, let's go back to a spinner here. Let's actually, I wonder if we could try something else. Let's see. Are do any of the hard lures attracting? But I have. Yeah. Well, let's see if a hard lure works. Let's get one that's of decent size, though. Rainbow trout. Yep. Well, let's equip that one. Two aught sounds good. I think that's a rainbow, guys. I think that is a rainbow. Well, this is this is really a lot of fun, guys. This is a lot of fun. Now I know there's Sauger in here. I just don't know where to find them. Well, this guy's bigger than the other ones, I think. He's putting up quite the fight. That might be a sauger there. Yeah, that might be a sauger. That does not look like a trout with the silhouette. Yeah, I want to get a sauger or maybe a walleye. Now, underwater, the cutthroat trout. Okay. Nice one. 5.49 pounds. We'll sell him. Alright, I just switched to a bigger lure just to see if we can get something with it. It has little floaty things. <laughs> Flash in front of the screen. Half time, I think it's a fish coming for the for the lure. Yeah, I'm not seeming to get as much attention from that. Boom. Okay, and we got us a pike. We got us a big old pike. Got his attention. I didn't even think I saw any down there. God knows where he came from. Now that looks like a walleye. All right, we got him, guys. Yeah, it stopped recording there for a while. I was thinking that I was just recording away. Wow! Really? It's a new record for me. 44.78 pounds. Holy crankies. A pike come big here. Look at that fella. Nice, nice, nice. Let's release him, get some XP. Sounds good to me. Well, I might have to go after some more pike in a later episode here. Let's see. So we've got that one. Now, does it attract Saga? Yes, it does. So I'm going to keep using it. Because I saw the silhouette of a Saga or Walleye. They're in the same family, so sometimes if all you see is a shadow, it's kind of hard to tell what we're dealing with. Can 
So I thought I'd have to get a spoon. we go. I think that's a brown trout there, guys. Looks like one. He's not real massive, but... Alright, we almost got him here. There we go. Not a bad brown trout. I was right on my identification. Let's see, 46 XP. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and release him too. Gosh, I've got to be close to that by now. Yeah, I'm going to take this deep. Maybe I can get a really big brown trout. A brown trout can come pretty large. Yeah, I think I want to get one more decent fish here if I can. We'll call this an episode, but I think this was a very successful episode. I think it even went better than the one at Bacow Lake. This is a lot of fun, and had a few surprises, got quite a few trout species, and personal best for the pike. You can't knock that, I tell you. There we go, boom, there's our last... got some heft to him, I think. Yes, he does. He's got some heft to him. Alright, come on, fish. Turn. I need you to turn. Alright. Come on. That is a bull trout. So they're pretty much all over this lake. So, cause I think I'm at... Marker 2? Yep, bull trout. Well, he's not as big as I thought he was. They're just good fighters, I guess. Well, I'm going to sell him this time. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Well, this is Moraine Lake, guys. And honestly, the ice fishing was a lot more fun than just fishing here. That's the truth. But... If you guys know of a good location to find the walleye or sauger, let me know because I don't know exactly where to go. Um, obviously we found a lot of trout species. I thought I saw one down there that might have been possibly a walleye. But I'm still just seeing trout. Man, those are little bitty trouts. Well, anyway guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.